Well, the Southeastern Wildlife Expo, or SEWI, officially starts today. And one of the most popular events each year is the wild bird flight demonstrations. But what does the Center for Birds of Prey do the other days of the year? Well, Lisa Weisman found out. What they do is helping injured or sick birds. Now, say, for example, you're out in the wild and you come across a shore bird or a bird of prey that you think has been hurt, you can give their avian medical clinic a call. Avian Conservation Center, this is Cameron. It's a phone line that some days rings off the hook. Some of the more common injuries are if they're hit by vehicle. A lot of people might see a bird on the side of the road. We also get different entanglements. This is, you know, a big coastal waterway for the area. And so fishing line or just other kind of foreign objects that are in there will get calls on birds that might be entangled in something. If they need medical attention, they're brought here for treatment, sometimes up to 16 birds a day. News 4 was invited in for a couple of procedures. First up, patient 123. Technician Cameron Williams suits up in the big gloves for protection. Beacon talents. They both know how to use them. She brings in the patient. It's an adult bald eagle found on the side of the road in Monk's Corner a couple of days before. His head is covered just to keep him more calm. That's also why we're talking in quiet voices. Turns out he ate lead. Lead toxicity can just make them just feel really sick, um, really lethargic. That's Mandy walking us through what's happening. Apparently, it's very common for some birds like eagles and vultures to accidentally ingest lead while scavenging through organs left behind by hunters. The techs are giving fluids and medication. It is an injection of calcium EDTA, and that is actually a substance that's going to bind to the lead in that bird's body to help it remove it from its body. Time now for a tube feeding of more fluids. We get to see the bald eagle's face up close. So kind of just like you would, you know, give medication to your dog or cat or like pill your dog or cat. We are doing that with birds. It'll be another few days of this kind of therapy before the eagle is retested. Hopefully the level of lead goes down. It's a metal toxin in their body. Um, and so again, it's just he's a little quieter, um, it seems like. But that, you know, can take a lot out on them. Back into the kennel he goes. Technician Valerie Sprinkle brings in a herring gull brought in from Myrtle Beach the previous day. With this beak-shaped mask, he's going to go under general anesthesia for radiographs. We're going to check if there's any fractures or internal trauma going on. After about two minutes, he's out. The gull is placed and taped to a board and taken for a radiograph just down the hall. Shooting. Another position and another picture. Shooting. The work has to be quick, though, because just like people, there are risks for birds under anesthesia. They have a very efficient respiratory system. His eyes are open. He's coming back too, a little too early, so more gas. There aren't any obvious fractures, but the gall has some wounds to his metacarpals along the wrist area. So this tissue that you're seeing is got kind of some scarring and some scabbing on it. The other side is a little bit worse with swelling and a blood blister. This wound and infection could be deep enough um, that it could impair flight, so we're going to want to take care of these wounds. Some medication goes down the gullet and the bird has a good prognosis. That's great news for the gull and the techs. The best part is getting to release birds back into their environment. Getting, to, getting them through whatever ailment they come in with. This is the ultimate goal for all of the clinic's patients. So for adults, we do try to get them back to the area where they were originally found. A lot of times they know that territory for resources and they also might have a mate. Unfortunately, though, not all the birds are able to be released back into the wild. This is a golden eagle. She's been here at the center for more than 20 years now. She's not able to fly because she has a deformed wing. The center says she would not survive if they were to release her back into the wild. In Onda, Lisa Wiseman, ABC News 4. Well, the Centers for Birds of Prey will be doing flight demos at Siwi this weekend. They'll be at Marion Square at 10.30 a.m. and at 2 p.m. today, tomorrow, and Sunday.